Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We are still in the Horizon mission, but we're making decent progress. And we need to head to the spaceport to activate the Guardian lasers so that we can have a fighting chance against the Collector ship. So let's do that as soon as the game is done validating the DLC. Alright. Horizon. More Horizon. This is a pretty long mission, but it makes sense. Alright, once again, do things that make it easier to fight before we actually get into combat with anyone. And there are a few collectibles out here, but surprisingly not that many. So there is a dead collector. There's an explosive container. I would not like such a gift. And then there's also the ability to move over here, which gives us a bit of power cells, which we don't really need, but that's okay. That just means that we are pretty good with the heavy weapons ammo, which we will need shortly. And there's something else, because if you look at that, there's some glowing things all the way up there. That is... Well, we'll see in a bit. But first, the Death Collector... This should come in handy. ...has biotic damage. And this is not where we can go to at the moment from here. How come we don't see more frozen people around? Probably loaded onto the Collector ship by now. We should hurry. Yeah, that's... A decent assumption, although they did leave some colonists behind, so I'd imagine they would come back for them. Unless they assume that they can just wait around for the other collectors to finish and we just uh, were right in their way. Also, there's a computer for 3000 credits. This looks a bit like a server room of sorts. Pretty interesting. And the other building over here has nothing but lounge chairs and a water supply? That's a lot of water here. <laughs> but alright, let's go through this door and see what happens. Of course, just like before, a bypass door is easy because it cannot fail, even if you do fail. Just a formality, really. And here is the spaceport. We can see the collector ship right here, and we can also see the guardian laser over there. Now, here's the interesting part there are no real enemies around at the moment that we can see, right? This is... something. If we go here, I wonder... Oh, look at that. That's a Scion. Can I actually hit them? Looks like I can, because I can see some particle effects. Not sure about that part, but... I should just aim for this. Let my pistol recharge a bit while I'm firing. These guys have a lot of health, as you may have noticed. Am I doing damage? Like. A hand cannon is pretty good against armor, which I think is what they have. And I'm pretty sure they don't regenerate, so I don't know what, why this is not working as intended. Well, let's wait a bit. Maybe I need to shoot faster. Oh, no. 
That was just them almost being dead. Not quite yet. What the? That and another sound? Looks like it. If it does particle effects while I'm shooting at it, it means it's an enemy. It's pretty funny that they're not really reacting even though clearly I'm shooting at them. But silence are there at the start. However, that's not the only thing that spawns here. So it's not really going to be as easy as it seems. And I need to wait for my weapon to cool down once again. Also, all of the enemies have like an area where it counts as a headshot if you shoot it. For scions, they technically have heads, but they're like on the side of their body. But it also counts if you shoot the glowing parts at the top of their heads, apparently. Which is an interesting way of doing things. Come on, scion. Go down, please. Doesn't help that most of my shots are missing. Oh no. Well, what can you do? Yep, overheated completely. And they're still not. There we go. There's the transmitter. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, it is a transmitter. But I still need to recharge. And there it is. Uh. Well, here is indeed a transmitter, which we can hack. Any more kissings around here? Ah, yes. Good. So it looks like the enemies don't spawn if you do that. That's hilarious. Alright, time to hack this computer. I can even save, that's amazing. Alright, angles. Point at the top. This. And. Green. This. Alright, here comes the tricky part. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Let's do this. Time to show these things we give as good as we get. Edie, bring the defense towers online. Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. The collectors will try to stop it. Good. Uh, I wouldn't say good, but I value your enthusiasm. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Yep. Survive until the defense tower comes online. That's going to be tricky. Move, 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 move. There's health over here. 
Guys, please come uh, back. You got it. Alright, they're over there. There's Harbinger. Oh, dear. Oh, nice. Oh, there's Husk. Firing up. I am back shot. Oh, that guy I can't get to, but I'd like to use Dominator someone. Ah, oh, there's another Husk. I can't see anyone aside from that guardian, but he's not out for long enough times to actually. Allow me to do something about him. Oh, yes, if he does that, I can. Excellent. And now this guy is getting out of position. And there's more enemies. Garrus, what are you doing there? And also there's a Harbinger. Nice that it doesn't last for that long. There we go. Indeed. Nice. Still an assassin over there. This should slow him down. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. Let's move out. There will be more. There's always more. Ah. You tell me. Not sure. Ah, oh, there we go. Enemies over there. Sequential power up initiated. Guardian anti ship batteries at 40%. More coming. Guess we got their attention. guy on the other hand is can't eat well Ah, oh, and there's Harbinger. I know! like the angle either. I need to change it. Go, 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 go. Let's 
go over here. Guardian empty ship batteries at 60%. Seeking targeting protocols to Normandy systems. Continue. You to protect the tower. <coughs> okay, they're making progress. <coughs> I think I need to cool this weapon down for a bit. Come on, cool down. There we go. There's the other guy, but he's dead now. And I just need to not lose sight of Harbinger himself. Well, he stands there like a dummy. <laughs> Pretty hilarious. <laughs> well, so that's the sort of tactics that we get. Just abuse the AI and everything is going to be fine. Okay, are we done? It's like not completely. But I can just use my gel. Another guy. I would like to get Medjol from over there. Let's stay there. Okay. Looks like we are generally good. Uh, yes, do this. Yeah. Get ready. Gotta be more soon. But where and what? It's the Praetorian. This guy is a bit of a pain, and he is in fact the boss, and the whole reason why I have the missile launcher. Okay. Okay. It has armor, and it has barriers, and it has something called Death Choir. It's a melee attack, and uh, he is invincible while in it. I used to get out of my dodge. And while in Death Choir, he regenerates barriers. Oh. Uh oh. 
though. Ah, and our guardian lasers are firing. I need to run away. Okay, uh, they have barriers, so no, not this. No. Shot ready. Well, keep distance. Thankfully, no more enemies spawn, so this is fine. to run away very quickly. Run, 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 run. Oh dear. Okay, he is almost down. But we need to be careful. Guardian lasers were too much. No! Don't let him get away! Uh. That ship is huge. Exactly how are we supposed to catch it? Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! I did my best. You just hit in your damn bunker. Show respect. If it wasn't for Shepard, you'd all be on that ship. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. Nice. So Kaiden survived. Also very nice touch to uh, be playing Vigil in here. Of course, it's good to see him again. It's been too long, kid. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? <sighs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. Thinking you were gone. It was like losing a limb. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Uh... Well, I asked the elusive man about it, and he said he has no idea where you are, so... Yeah, I mean, this is the only reasonable answer. Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now. Garrus, too. I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. That you were working for the enemy. Uh, well, looks like Cerberus isn't behind the 
colony attacks this time. But no, I don't work for Cerberus. Cerberus and I want the same thing. To save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. Do you really believe that? Or is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? I wanted to believe the rumors that you were alive. But I never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Uh, no. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Damn it, Caden. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're ignoring the real threat. Well, honestly, he is quite right. But, uh... Eh, well, calm down. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of facts. Maybe. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe you're the one who's not thinking straight. You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. Uh... I mean, what I want to say is, can I join you? Because I want to go back to the Alliance, please. But... I mean... Hmm. If they believe my story. Can they believe my story? Uh, I think they can. But yeah, I don't think he can join us, but I can ask, I guess. I could use someone like you and my crew, Caden. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'll never work for Cerberus. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. Well, that's a good choice. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Mission complete. Experience gained, 1,250. Level earned, 11. Squad points gained, 2. Collectors escaped with approximately one-third of Horizon's population. Front Corporation will funnel supplies, monetary aid to colonial survivors. Collector leader, Harbinger, demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard. Unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic override, indication of hive mind among collectors, or even Reaper technology at work. Salvage teams captured collector bodies for study. Collector particle beam. Biotic damage. Heavy skin weave. And got all the credits. Plus some platinum. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. Well, I didn't manage to save everyone. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Uh, no. No, you cannot. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive and working for Cerberus. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. It was a risk, but I couldn't just wait for them to take another colony. You understand? No, I don't. Because what you did made the Collectors attack that particular colony. So, in other words, 
even though Cerberus is not directly responsible for that attack, they are indirectly responsible for it. So you're just back to your old tricks. Good job. Kaiden was quite right about you. So, no more. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? Nope. None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Nope. Still, if we were here physically, you would have a bullet in your head, probably. But since we're not... Uh... The team? Nah. It's strong enough, and it's none of your business. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, it makes you think. We can do this. They're powerful, but we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Yep. This is the point where the game actually opens up. Welcome to the mid-game. And things get very interesting from here on out. Because the elusive man we couldn't be mean enough to him, unfortunately, as usual for this game. But uh, he didn't really... didn't really give us any directions as to what to do next, because he's still investigating what uh, to do about the Omega-4 relay so that we can go through it. So there's no real way to continue this. We did get three new dossiers. We got some extra DLC stuff unlocked right now, because at this point everything is unlocked. And Stop the Collectors, which is our master uh, quest, just says assemble a team. Again, continue assembling a team with new dossiers from the Elusive Man. We still have some dossiers from before. And yeah, so that is about it. Um, let's see. Do I have anything in the codex to read? Maybe? Let's see. In the early 21, the, uh, the Handlers are a citadel hovering tanks resembling a cross between an octopus and a giant crab. Praetorians are well armored killing machines of mysterious origin. Praetorians employ redundant systems from the multiple humans encased within them. Armed with eye-mounted particle beams and capable of attacks at close range, they teleport to evade attack while regenerating their shields. Within hours after death, the organic components of Praetorian corpses disintegrate into a denatured pus, while their mechanisms turn to ash. One specimen, autopsied within minutes of death, reveals a clue. Nanomachines may disintegrate the Praetorian's organic and mechanical components before self-destructing. If correct, 
This self-rendering hypothesis could account for three documented cases of dead Praetorians apparently releasing, or becoming, clouds of neurotoxic gases, causing suffocating paralysis and nearly instant death. In one remote facility, 17 soldiers died from gas inhalation while assessing the Praetorian. Any personnel in the vicinity of dead Praetorians are urged to protect themselves with breathing apparatus. Well, it's a good thing that we had that breather helmet on, eh? Unlike our squad members. But yes, these guys are something else. That's why they're bosses. And of course, we'll see more of them later on. And let's see... What about more non-sapient creatures? Husk Scions. Though the exact fate of species captured by the Collectors is unclear, the humanoid appearance of the Scions gives ghastly clues. The Scion's frame and skull are similar to those of a human or a Sari, but the bone structure is overlaid with a metallic resin. Posthumous examination of their bodies reveals a skin tone resembling that of Reaper husks, but their transformation process seems more extensive. Like husks, they are cybernetically modified on a nanoscale, so they can operate even in a hard vacuum. Hoses, rather than veins, and muscle tissue join major portions of the body together. One arm is replaced with a construct that fits a large rifle, turning the creature into a humanoid weapons platform, and a fleshy sack is supported by the creature's back and head. These sacks contain brain matter and spinal tissue, too much to have come from just one victim. The Syndicate signs are an amalgam of several individuals, with one primary victim providing the frame and several secondaries providing the flesh for a decentralized semi-mechanical nervous system. This decentralization makes them highly resistant to gunshot wounds. Even a headshot is not a certain kill. The science weapons, however, indicate that science retain some living tissue, or at least sustain some of the same electrochemical reactions as those of a human biotic. The weapon creates a powerful warp effect, which is consistent with the isonodules visible in the science expansive nervous system. Given the rarity of human biotics, it seems likely that these dust form isonodules are deposited during their transformation, rather than requiring a biotic victim in the first place. Yeah, so instead of just converting one person into a husk, now they assemble multiple of them and convert them into scions, or in some cases Praetorians for even more victims. So that's one of the reasons why they're adopting colonies, I suppose. But that will be all for now, and next time we do things in the expanded universe of ours that we're in now. See you all then. Later.